In 2019, a Kickstarter was announced with the goal to raise money in order to produce the first new color film stock in five years. Unfortunately, it looked like this. Lomography Metropolis is a color negative film stock that is the successful product of a Kickstarter campaign and it's available in 35 millimeter, 120 medium format, and 110 film, the little stuff. I also don't like it at all, but let's not let that get in the way of an unbiased overview of Lomography's Metropolis. Metropolis is a film that's inspired by the look of a process known as the bleach bypass. Bleach bypass has typically been used during the chemical process of motion picture films, and it involves either skipping or altering the bleaching portion of the chemical process for color negative film. It results in this kind of gritty, washed out, subdued look to your colors and contrast. Whether you realize it or not, we've seen forms of bleach bypass in films like Saving Private Ryan, Minority Report, Million Dollar Baby, Fight Club, and yes, even the indisputable classic, Alien Resurrection. It's definitely a, a look, but it's also a look that I kind of associate with some of those uh, like late 90s, early 2000s films. A lot of those are great films, but their look just disgusts me. Just a little bit. Now, Metropolis doesn't actually involve like a bleach bypass at all. It's just meant to be processed in the regular C41 chemical process. You don't have to pay for anything extra or do anything special to your film. It's formulated to look like it was bleach bypassed. Now, before anybody jumps at me here, I know that Lomography kind of caters to a different kind of crowd of uh, people who are shooting and exploring film. They do have regular color negative films, things like Lomo 800 and 400, which I quite like, and their black and white stuff, which is usually just like rebranded Orwo stuff. Also pretty good, but you can probably easily save a lot of money by just bulk rolling large rolls of Orwo if you have the option to. But they do also strive to offer things that are unique. Things like Metropolis and their other film, Lomo Chrome Purple, definitely do that because they're less conventional color film. Metropolis is meant to be shot anywhere between 100 and 400 ISO. Changing what you shoot the film at is meant to either increase or decrease kind of like the characteristics and the contrast and the impact of the look that the film has on your images. So let's take a look at some uh, Metropolis. Okay, I have to assume that most people are either going to be into this or not at all. It does seem to have its fans and it's meant to be kind of like a gritty, strange street photography film. I think. I exposed my roll of 35 millimeter as half 100 and half 400 and just really didn't see much of a difference in the shots here. And it's not meant to be changed in the developing process. It's meant to be like developed regularly regardless of if you shot it at 100, 200 or 400. I have done nothing wrong. I also apologize for nothing. It's got weird subdued colors that have like a muddy grayish look to them. My shots are also pretty easy on the contrast as well, which is why you can get away with changing up your exposure as you shoot. I got a little less contrast when I'm exposing it as a 400 film in comparison to doing it as a 100, but that's pretty much like the biggest change I can kind of see here. And it is grainy as hell too, which I guess is also part of the aesthetic Lomography was trying to nail down with this stuff. In which case, my God, they've, they've done it. It's a specialty film and I fully understand that. So you probably want to shoot subjects that you're okay with having uh, turn out really impacted by the look of the film itself. Like the film here is dictating kind of what you probably want to shoot. Whereas a more general film stock, I usually consider to just be like a little more flexible. There's an aspect of unpredictability here, and I can see how that would interest a lot of people who are exploring film as a medium, but it's definitely not going to interest those who are looking for a professional quality result or who value consistency or money because it's also like a film you pay a premium for, and I don't consider the results you get to be a premium. If I'm being really honest here, some of the samples I've seen from Metropolis just feel like the shots you get from poorly stored expired color film. In fact, I'd say expired film offers a wider variety of unpredictable results with even less consistency for usually less money as well. So just like mess around with that stuff. Lomography obviously has this specific look in mind for kind of this gritty, subdued, muddy looking color film. And it delivers, I think, on what they market it to be. So I definitely can't be specifically upset about its existence. It is what it is, and if you go into it thinking you won't like it, 
your mind probably isn't going to be changed. My shots have a few instances of like interesting reds and greens, but mostly just muddy and it does look like a little red overall, whereas I have seen other people's samples be way flatter and like gray or even greenish. So you can definitely do some further editing on scans of your images if you really wanna lean into the look of this stuff. But these characteristics, are very dominating with this film. So don't use this as like a normal film stock. So talking Canadian dollars and what is available to me locally that I can just go and pick up, not order from somewhere and deal with shipping and like an exchange rate, I pay 18 Canadian dollars for a roll of Lomography Metropolis in 35 millimeter. And that's more than what I pay for Portra and Ektar sometimes things that are professional, consistent, great looking films. So Metropolis is just not worth it for me in most instances, unless I really had like a project or like a theme in mind that specifically I wanted to use that for. Blech. Like all Lomo stuff, there is a bit of like a mystery and debate about where their film actually comes from and what some of this stuff is. Things like their just basic color negative film is probably supplied by Kodak and some of their black and white stuff is Orwo film. So you can usually get that cheaper from somewhere else without paying the Lomography prices behind it. But Metropolis and Purple are things that are very unique to Lomography. So if you wanna shoot stuff like that, you're kind of locked into buying it from Lomography because there's not like alternatives or being able to source it from somewhere else really. I've read a little thing that their really unique films are maybe sourced as a custom emulsion made for them by the film manufacturer Adox, but I also have no proof of that, so uh, who knows. Bleach Bypass can be an interesting look and I definitely like some of the movies that it's been used for, but I've never really wanted to like explore those worlds and that look like a lot. And that might just be me kind of and, you know, not really dying to live in the world of alien resurrection. <laughs> you can probably also just experiment with doing color film developing at home and doing your own bleach bypass in those processes on normal film stocks to see how they kind of turn out and what they look like. Definitely more expensive and more involved, but hey, it, at least you learn something that way, I guess. Or alternatively, just avoid it altogether. So it's not for me. It might be for you, but it also might not be. So it is what it is. Thank you so much for watching this. And you can you can definitely shoot Metropolis and Purple and that stuff if you really want to, if you're really into it. And you can leave comments down below about how much you love that stuff. And I'll, I might read them, but it's just not for me. And like that kind of film and also like special effects film, like pre-exposed things. It's just like the money versus what it is. A lot of the time, I just don't think it's really worth it for everybody. You can check out all my examples from this and all the role reviews over on the Patreon. You can also check out a uh, link in the description for merch for the channel as well. All that stuff supports this stuff and allows me to recoup the cost of shooting things like Lomography Metropolis. A soul crushing $18 ripped away from me in its prime. As always, thank you so much and uh, I'll see you soon.